Okay, so what we're going to do in this vodcast is do some conversions, but we're going to stick to metric conversions in this vodcast. And I'm going to show you how to move the decimal and use dimensional analysis. And both techniques are very important to know uh, for the future, for, you, for your future success in this class. So let's get a pen here and let's go over some metric conversions. So what we're going to start with is number three and we're going to convert 14 centimeters to meters. So when anytime you're going to do a metric conversion, unless you have it memorized, which many of you probably already do, you want to put your King Henry died drinking chocolate milk prefixes up there. The middle being the base unit, and then we have deci, centi, milli, deca, hecto, and kilo. And again, remember, there's a, a, there's a factor of 10 between each unit. So you use that to know how many places to move the decimal, but you also use that to know how many of each unit there are in another unit. For example, if we're using the base unit meters, there would be 10 decimeters in a meter, 100 centimeters in a meter, and 1,000 millimeters in a meter. So 10, 100, and 1,000. On the other hand, there is 10 meters in a decameter, 100 meters in a hectometer, and 1,000 meters in a kilometer. So let's take a look at the conversions. If we're going centimeters to meters, that's two places on the prefix scale. So if we're going two places to the left, we know that we can simply go two places to the left, and that would be 0.14 meters. If we're going to use dimensional analysis, which you do need to know how to do, you're going to start with your 14 centimeters. Since the unit we're starting with is centimeters, centimeters goes in the denominator, and if we're converting to meters, we need to know how many centimeters are in a meter. So we know that there are 100 centimeters in a meter. That way our centimeters cancel and we're going to end up with 0.14 meters. If we're going, let's say, kilograms to grams, again, we can go one, two, three places. So we know we're simply going to move the decimal over three places, so it would be three, five, zero, zero, zero grams. But let's do the dimensional analysis. We've got 35 kilograms. So your first conversion, kilograms in the denominator, grams to the numerator. And again, there's 1,000 if, you, if your base unit is grams, there's 1,000 grams in a kilogram, so 1,000 grams in a kilogram, the kilograms cancel, and we would have 35,000 grams. Again, it's very easy to just move the decimal, but it's very important to understand these relationships because later in the year when we apply this to different types of formulas, you're going to need to know the relationship between the units in the metric system. In other words, 10 decimeters in a meter or 10 decigrams in a gram. Okay, let's take a look at the next one here. We've got meters to kilometers. So again, we're going one, two, three places, so we know if we move our decimal one, two, three, our answer is going to be 0.1165 kilometers, but let's do the dimensional analysis. You've got 116.5 meters, meters to kilometers. From our chart, we know there's a thousand meters in a kilometer, and when we put that into our calculator, we get 0.1165 kilometers. Okay, let's go to the other side of the scale and go milliliters to liters. And again, I'm going to do the dimensional analysis, so I've got 57 milliliters, milliliters in the denominator, to liters. Now our base unit is liters, and we're going from milli to the base unit, so we know there are a thousand 
milliliters in one liter. So 57 divided by 1,000 would be 0 0.057 liters. Again, you could just move the decimal one, two, three, but it's nice to, it's important to know the dimensional analysis also. All right, let's take a look at the next slide and see if there's a few more problems we can do. Let me get the pen. Um, okay, let's go millimeters to kilometers. And again, up here, I'm just gonna draw King Henry died, unfortunately, drinking chocolate milk. So we're going to start with 15, 15 point, 15 point 9 millimeters, and what we're going to do is go millimeters to kilometers. So again, we can simply move the decimal six places, but let's do the dimensional analysis. Now many people will put a million millimeters in a kilometer, but what I tend to do is go, if I'm going past the base unit, I tend to go from that unit to the base unit and then from the base unit to what I want to get. So in other words, what I'll do is put millimeters in the bottom and then put meters in the numerator. That way I know there's a thousand millimeters in a meter. Millimeters cancel. Meters in the denominator now. Remember, every time you have your unit here in the numerator, to get rid of it, you put it in the denominator. And we're going to go from meters to kilometers and again, it's three places, so I know there's a thousand meters in one kilometer. Meters cancel, so when I do the math here, I'm going to get 0 0. 0.0000, one more zero, I believe, 159 kilometers. Let me just make sure that's correct. We would go one, two, three, four, five, whoops, went one zero too many. So I'm going to put that zero there. So again, you've got 15.9 divided by 1,000 divided by 1,000 gives us 1 1.5 times 10 to the negative fifth, which is 1, 2, one, two 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, four, exactly. All right, um, let's see, are there any more? Uh, that's millimeters to kilometers also. Um, let's do this prop. No, that's the same unit. Tell you what, let's do this one here with the significant or with the scientific notation. Now, a scientific notation, when you move the decimal, you can simply change the exponent. But what I'm going to do is the dimensional analysis. So 8.4 times 10 to the negative sixth grams. If I want to go to milligrams, I'm going to put grams in the denominator, milligrams in the numerator. I know there's a thousand milligrams and a gram. Grams cancel. So 8.4 times 10 to the negative sixth times a thousand is going to give me 8.4 times 10, point four times 10 to the negative third milligrams. So again, if you're moving the decimal, that, that exponent would go three places, or from the negative sixth to the negative third. So again, just to review, when we're doing metric conversions, it's always handy to just move the decimal based on our King Henry relationship, but it's also incredibly important to understand how many of each prefix unit there are in other units for the decimal system, metric system. In other words, there's 100 centimeters in a meter, 10 decimeters in a meter, 1,000 millimeters in a meter, 10 meters in a decameter, 100 meters in a hectometer, and 1,000 meters in a kilometer. On the next podcast, we'll start looking at conversions using other units other than the metric system.